Today I want to teach you how I made this scene in After Effects. Step by step. If you want a more video like this, check the description. All my After Effects lessons are there. So let's go guys. First, we're gonna make a new composition. So press Ctrl and and those right here, it's gonna be my and all the files, 3D objects, it's gonna be on the description. So just go on the description and download all of them. I'm gonna click right here, import. The first one I'm gonna import is this one right here, big terrain. Click right here in source and just select the 3D model. Click open, click right here in use out normals and click OK. That's perfect. You can scale a little bit. Now I'm gonna click right here. And as you can see, the model doesn't have any textures, so we need texture. To texture our object, it's really simple. So go right here on the, the textures of the, the model. And as you can see, I have all those textures right here. And it's pretty simple. So as you can see, for example, right here, it's plain dot one. And right here, have the name as well, plain dot one. So just go right here in textures and get the base color and put on the diffuse. Always put the base color is gonna be always in on the diffuse. AO is ambient occlusion. So put right here, normal, it's normal bump. I'm gonna put like right here and just do the same for the others. So for example, this right here is plane two. So go right here, plane two and just drag and as you can see we have this right here textured so yeah okay that's perfect i'm gonna just increase a little bit of the scale again now click right here in import and i'm gonna import this one right here tori right here without normals click ok I'm gonna click right here, normalize size, and just get your model. I'm gonna increase the scale. And I'm gonna put like right here, I guess that's good. Yeah, that's, that's perfect to me. I'm gonna click right here again, and I'm gonna put this one, vegetation mix, without normals. Click OK. Normalize size. You can increase. And oh, let me see. I'm gonna put like right here. Control D to duplicate the layer. And this one I'm gonna put like I guess right here. I'm gonna give some rotation. Yeah, that's good to me. Again, import. And I'm gonna import this one right here, trees. Those are normals, click OK. Normalize size. I'm gonna click right here on the left to hide it and just increase it. Control D, just do the same. Give some rotation again. Yeah, to me, looks pretty good. Now you can click right here in OK. I'm gonna import this image right here. Control Shift C, move auto boost on the composition and adjust comparison duration time span. I'm gonna click right here in layer, all trace, apply to a new layer, just click OK. You can hide those layers. We don't need them visible. So yeah, it's, it's, it's important. Click right here, coastal layers, coastal text and masks. Click right here and mask is gonna be the auto trace, coastal text map and maps. It's gonna be the composition. So couple composition and okay. Extend setup again. Extrude and I'm gonna put like right here. Let me see. Click right here, 
bevel, go here, diffuse, and just change to custom layer 1. Click OK. And go right here. And bevel and select this option right here. Use layer as UV. I'm going to just change a little bit of the color. So I'm going to increase a little bit of the contrast. Increase the brightness. And decrease the saturation. It's going to be something like this. Okay, that's good. Now we're gonna make our sky. So click right here, click on the sphere, uh, and on the scale, we're gonna put like 10,000. Go right here on surface options and click right here, invert normals. I'm gonna click right here, click right here, and as you can see, I have, I have this environment, I have this 3D environment, and you can download that using Polyheaven. As you can see, I have a lot of them and it's free. So I'm gonna just click right here on diffuse, click right here, downloads, and just select the file. This one right here. I'm gonna increase the brightness, increase the saturation, just click OK. And I'm gonna click right here and just change the orientation. It's gonna be something like this. To me it looks pretty good but as you can see the colors doesn't match uh so we need to change a little bit of the colors and it's pretty easy so click right here on the first model click right here right here and change the mode to a circle and as you can see we have our different color and just do the same for the others so just change to a circle And yeah, that's perfect. Just click right here, OK. Create a new camera, so Control Alt Shift C, OK. Don't forget, Control S. Uh, and using C, uh, you can move your camera. So this is the pen, this is the zoom, and this is the rotation. I'm gonna just change quarter because it is really heavy. And I'm gonna like put the camera right here we can change later but for me that's good you can create a new node so Control alt shift y link the camera on the node click right on the 3d press p holding shift press r and select all the keyframes except the orientation so just select the keyframes i'm gonna pull out a little bit forward right here one second i guess that's good I'm just change a little bit of the the rotation so and the position i'm gonna plug right here let me see i'm gonna change right here as well yeah i guess something like this select all the keyframes f9 go right on the graph and make this graph right here I guess that's good. Create a new node, so Control Alt Shift Y, Control Shift D. I'm gonna remove the lightest part right here. Link this node, this node. Click right here on the 3D. Press P, holding Shift, press R. And again, just mark all the keyframes, except the orientation. And I'm gonna make a new animation. F9. I'm gonna make this graph right here. And just do the same, Control Alt Shift Y, Control Shift D, Dell on this part right here, just link the nose and mark how the keyframes accept the orientation. F9, got the graph and make this graph. And don't forget all those files, all those plugins, After Effects, 
everything you need have all my artist pack just check the description and yeah i'm gonna make the last animation and yeah And as you can see, we have our animation. Yeah, looks pretty good. Not gonna lie, that's perfect. So we're gonna change a little bit of the composition itself because as you can see, it doesn't look very good. Um, the first thing we're gonna do is change uh, put a little bit of shadows. So go right here, render settings. I'm being seclusion, click right here, enable AO, and you can increase a little bit. As you can see, looks way better. Click right here, shadows, click right here, enable. You can go right here, lighting, and change your light, for example, to sun. This looks pretty cool. Have uh, as well some, have sunset as well, and you can change and try different lights to see what is best to you. To me, this looks pretty cool. The sunset and the sun. I'm gonna go with the sun. And yeah, that's perfect. You can add some lights. So control out just L and make a spotlight. I'm gonna increase a little bit of the intensity and just click ok now just change the position and the point of the insert of your light so press p and hold the shift press a and you can change right here the lights very important because make the shadows you know Double click right here on the spotlight and you can increase the shadow diffusion. As you can see, we have a little bit of shadows right here. Not perfect, but yeah, it works. Now I'm gonna add a text like right here. So control T and my text is gonna be tutorial control out home control home. Uh, the color doesn't matter, just a font. So you can choose what is best to you and yeah click right here to hide the layer but like right here on the bottom click right on the element go to custom layers custom tests and masks and path layer 2 against like or that ctrl s don't forget and click right here on accent setup click right here on extrude but as you can see this is not our tag so just click right here on custom path just change to path 2 that's good I'm gonna put like uh right here i guess go right here presets bevels physical and i'm gonna put like i guess oreo mm, racing yeah that's good and i forget click right here and change the file to spherical and get your text and put like right here select the number two and click ok now go right here in group two create group no create and just rename so click enter and i'm gonna plug right here uh no tax now you can change a little bit of the rotation and the position go right here on the element 3d click right here particle look multi object Click right here and increase a little bit of the rotation random and blank right here and make a keyframe. When the animation camera starts, we're gonna just change and uh, a little bit and make an animation. So I'm gonna pull it before and just change right here. F9, got the graph and make this and just change the keyframes. 10 yeah we have our text animation now we're gonna add some particles so control i and the name is gonna be uh let me see leaves particles and we're gonna add the 
particular go right here in presets and i'm gonna select the um i guess this preset right here just click apply as you can see we have it just go to uh a miter you can increase a little bit change the link change this option right here to individual and you can increase it i'm gonna increase the direction spread go right here particle you can increase the size and increase the size random i'm gonna change a little bit of the life seconds increase the velocity i guess 200 And I'm gonna decrease a little bit of the particle seconds. I guess 29, 25, I don't know. Let me take a look. Yeah, that's good. Press Ctrl A, click right here on the motion blur. Ctrl Shift C, move out mode to no composition. Ctrl Alt Y, I'm gonna put the Lux effect. And I'm gonna select a preset from my address pack. Okay, I selected three presets from my address pack. And I'm gonna just change a little bit of the uh, the strength right here, and you can change inside the legs as well. I'm gonna just add a post rise time and put like 21, guess it's good, or 20. And yeah, that's perfect.